snow, a lot of snow to our local mountains. And you can see right here, look at new video of the rain here in Kearney Mesa. Oh yeah, we heard it pounding on our rooftop. And then in Balboa Park, look at the rain coming down. And then what you're seeing on the right of your screen, that's Julian with those snowflakes. Look how much it's piled up over mm. there. Thank you so much for joining us. Time now is 6.01. I'm Netta Iran. And I'm Eric Connor. We do have team coverage for you. Chris Grove live at the snow in Julian. It's piled up there. And Dana Marie McNichol in Balboa Park with a look at all the rain. First, we begin with Evan Narani tracking this storm here. Evan? Yeah, good morning to you. Boy, it is another day of wet weather across San Diego County in the form of rain. Rain, mountain snow, some grapple. We know we saw that yesterday. That rain snow mixture out there possible along our coastline. We're expecting rain at about a 40 to 60% chance pretty much every hour between now and the end of the day. So far, 24 hour rain totals have been pretty impressive across East County and Pine Valley, Julian, Alpine. Those are all also spots that have seen much of the snow come through. National City has stayed light, 19100s. Vista stayed, stayed especially light, but they're all expecting more. Take Look, this is satellite radar imagery right now. You can see how the green is really popping up along our coastline. Snow across the mountaintops coming up. A look at what to expect as we head through the rest of the week. Back to you. Right now, winter storm warning in effect for San Diego County's mountains. In fact, the nature of the storm is driving down that snow level. I mean, look how much is piled up. Wow. You see the plows working hard. CBS 8's Chris Grow live in Julian now. Chris, we know you said it was very cold out there. It does look nice. I'm sure once the daylight comes, <laughs> maybe not so miserable. <laughs> <laughs> looks, I mean, yeah, I, I, I guess conceivably it looks nice. Uh, I, ha I have to put away the Floridian and just, again, just remember uh, we're somehow still in Southern California and there there is beauty obviously to the snow. It's it's a beautiful winter wonderland if you will. It is white. I mean look this and this is the good stuff too, right? This is that fresh powder that's been coming down. It's been snowing really the entire time that we've been here. Unlike our last trip here where it was a little slurry, a little slushy here on Main Street. This is that same powder that we had to drive out to last time over by the park. We are seeing uh, several inches uh, that have uh, been compacted here and we we haven't even seen any local residents uh, out and about, right? I mean, first of all, it's way too early, but nobody walking their dog, nobody getting in their steps, and in part because it's cold. Now, as for the drive on our way up here, it was coming down at some pretty low elevation. Uh, then, of course, as we, we got further and further up, we could see all of that compacted onto the roads. Thankfully, the plows were out, so the roads were pretty much cleared. Now, if you do want to come out here to experience the snow, want to show you some tips here for a second. Uh, go ahead, throw this up on our screen right now. These are some of those winter weather driving tips. So first of all, check the forecast. Stay with us to make sure there aren't any severe weather warnings going on. Maybe some wind if you're in a high profile vehicle, things like that. Also, check to make sure what roads are close. Make sure that you are bringing plenty of water, that your phones are charged. You have a full tank of gas. It is a far drive out here. And then also make sure you bring chains. Even if you don't need to put them on, it's always a good idea to have them in case they are required. Now back out here live, uh, we were just saying a moment ago we didn't see any local residents, but somebody that we introduced you to guys last time we were here, uh, the world's smallest snowman, uh, he's back. Uh, and actually, he grew uh, just a little bit since the last time we saw here, since we got in a little bit uh, more snow. Uh, he's also donning our uh, Padres hat here. He's oh, yeah. excited for spring training. He's excited yeah. for the season start. Uh, so, uh, world's smallest snowman. I uh, got a question for you. How do you think the uh, Padres are going to finish? Oh. Uh, he, he says they're going to come off their cold streak. Oh, uh, okay. So he's, they're going to knock the dust mannered. off and uh, <laughs> kind of uh, kind of pick things back up after that uh, <laughs> loss to the Phillies in the series. Yeah. Uh, he says that uh, it was a good learning experience for them. I don't know if you right. guys caught all that. Well, I, we do, he doesn't so like to talk lies. about heat. So, uh, he doesn't like, like to said. talk about the team being hot and heat much because, <laughs> after all, I mean, we he's know a snowman. What, we know what happens. So, uh, yeah, snowman. we know how that can his, go. His mouth is frozen at the moment, uh, sort of like mine. It's hard to talk in the snow. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. It's hard. So, so yeah, he's he's doing okay. Yeah. Uh, he's growing up a little bit, and uh, you know, before we know it, he might sprout some arms. I remember the last time you made a snowman; yes, it was like this big. Yeah. So this one, I mean, it's almost what knee height. It must Hip be all height. those pies it's there. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's just fattened up a little bit. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you, Chris. You Appreciate it. having some fun in the got snow. Got oh, wow, it's coming down. Yeah, it is yeah. coming down. All right, flakes. Wow. winter wonderland there. Amazing. Yep, lots of opportunities to make those snowmen out there. Because of the weather, the schools in the following districts are closed here today. Maybe these uh, kiddos will be making their own uh, snow uh, sculptures. Julian Union Elementary, Julian High School, Mountain Empire Unified, and Spencer Valley. Still no word, though, if they will be reopening tomorrow. We'll keep you posted right here.
And of course, a lot of the storm started off with heavy winds as we have been reporting. So this caused plenty of damage around the county. We are talking uh, a lot of fallen trees that we haven't seen. You see the video here damaging going into some of the roofs, some of the sides of the apartment complexes like you see right there. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol live at Balboa Park. That's an area where city crews have been very busy. We heard the chain saws. Uh, they've been busy cleaning up those trees out there, Dana Marie. Uh, good morning, Eric and Netta. They saw 50 reports of fallen trees in just 12 hours, the city says yesterday. So busy is probably an understatement. They were getting a lot of reports. Trees fallen on cars in the middle of the street, and that's why we spoke to uh, a city supervisor who said that their main goal is response times. We're just highly alert and uh, we do our best to respond in real time. Now, prevention has also been a priority for the city. For example, in City Heights, a neighbor called about a fragile 30 foot palm tree. Within hours, an arborist responded and deemed it dangerous. Crews took it down. Now, the city reports that no one has been injured, but there have been some close calls. Over in Mission Valley, a dream came crashing down on a Toyota Camry. Thankfully, the man inside was not injured, but his car was wrecked. Just a good reminder to stay away from those bigger trees when those winds are whipping. Here at Mabua Park, we have a lot of those massive and old trees, so uh, it's much more calm now than it was yesterday. It is still raining out here, so if you are heading out the door, grab that rain jacket, that umbrella. If there's something around you in your community that you think needs to be fixed, there's something called the Get It Done app. That's a way to report maybe those uh, Drains that are clogged, some potholes. Uh, also, if you see any down power lines in this winter storm, SCG&E, give them a call. They're the ones who need to get out there and repair it quickly so there's no other injuries. Uh, but again, it is a little bit more calmer than it was yesterday, but still chilly and wet out here in Bamboo Park. Uh, we did survey some of the damage and we didn't really see much, which does mean that uh, the city was very busy yesterday. I'm Dana Marie McNichol reporting live.